Hey, what's up guys? We are actually going to be doing a PSA for Total War Warhammer. We have two guys here with us, uh, Indy Pride and then Arch Warhammer. So I'll let Indy introduce himself and then Arch. Hey guys, I'm from Milk and Cookie Total War. How's it going? And I'm Arch Warhammer. And the reason for this is we wanted to bring something to the attention of the CA devs and the community at large. It's a thing that we think CA may have overlooked or it's just perhaps laziness or something. Uh, we don't quite know the reasons why it happened, but it does pose problems. So I'm going to let Indy Pride talk about what exactly we're referring to. Okay, so I was watching a Twitch stream, the the dev Twitch stream, where they're showing off the Green Skin campaign. And afterwards, they did a quick little interview uh, with the devs, just talking about different topics, the community questions, basically. They were answering a bunch. And I heard some news that I was not happy about at all. So I did want to share that with you guys and see if we can get some... I don't know if outcry is the right word, but galvanize some sort of action here. So basically, every faction within a race is going to have the exact same starting position. So if you're playing as the Dwarfs, Thorgrim, Grudge Bear, and Ungrim Iron Fist are going to start both in Kairaz Akarak, which is actually Thorgrim's, Thorgrim's home turf, basically. And what that means is it doesn't matter which race you're playing as, you're going, or which legendary lord you're playing as, you're going to be starting in the exact same location. And, and this is a problem for two reasons. Number one, I think it's going to hurt replayability a lot in single player, because basically what ha happens is, whether you're playing as Thorgrim or Ungrim, you're going to be in the same location with the exact same threats at the start of a campaign. It would be very interesting if each faction, each legendary lord was their own faction, and you started in a different location, because it means you're going to have different threats at the start of your campaign. There are going to be different armies, different races and factions around you, different starting locations, and I think that's a big deal. What that also means is it's not, you're not going to have your own faction banners or color schemes, depending on which legendary lord you are, which was not a really big deal, but it was something that I was hoping for, because again, it gives some variation between the uh, factions. But the big problem here for me, and this is the thing that I really think needs to get fixed from CA, is that what it means is you can't play a co-op campaign, or a head-to-head -head campaign as the same race. So if I wanted to do an Azhag the Slaughter versus Grimgor Ironhide Smackdown head-to-head -to, -head to see who was the better green skin, I can't do that. What they're saying is because you start in the exact same location, it doesn't matter which legendary lord you are, you're going to be playing, you're going to be starting in the exact same place, and that means that you can't ally when you do a co-op co-op campaign because in a co-op, whether you're Balthazar Gelt or whether you're Carl Franz, you're both going to be starting probably in Altdorf. So you can't ally with each other in a co-op campaign. You can't do two dwarfs together. You can't do two empire legendary lords together. You can't do two vampire counts together. This is a problem because it, one, doesn't make any sense in the lore. It means you have to do a vampire count versus green skin alliance, which doesn't make much sense in the lore. In fact, the only lore-friendly one in this entire problem is uh, dwarfs and empire together. And so... It's a lore problem, it's a gameplay problem, because I'm sure a lot of people who wanted to do co-op campaigns wanted to play with the exact same race, because it's very lore-friendly. Ungrim and Thorgrim together, working together to take over the world. You can't do that right now. I really think this needs to change. I think it's either an oversight on CA's part, or they're saying it's something about the coding, but either way, I think this really needs to change, because it's going to hurt replayability, and it's really going to hurt people who are excited for co-op and head-to-head -head campaigns. Yeah, so that uh big problem is already you know magnified by the fact that you only have four starting <laughs> races <laughs> that you can choose from um and yeah already that seems like a limited pool and if within those you can't even get the additional uh diversity between starting locations like any pride mentioned that's a problem but also the fact that they're starting to say that actually certain factions can't even expand into certain areas poses further restrictions i don't want to get into that just yet but what we're seeing is not so much of the depth and replayability that CA was promising. And that's one of the things that I'm worried about this. Um, I guess, Arch, I'll let you put in some of your comments. Yeah, you know, like I think you bring up a very nice point. The reason why we, quote unquote, let them get away with so few playable races was because they said they wanted to go in depth. So it sounds like a fantastic idea. But the more we're looking at this, the less and less it looks like they're actually going in depth, which. It's starting to seem like a very, very bad excuse for we can't be asked to put in the work. Yeah. And of course, it's just the lore. I I don't like it. I don't like the fact that you can't play uh, with varied starting positions, that you can't play as allied races, and the fact that I'm 
now again, I'm getting a little bit scared that they haven't done anything special for the Legendary Lords, like playing with Call Fronts will be exactly the same as playing with Belts or Guilt, except for, of course, different heroes. You won't have any events, etc. It might be paranoid, but a little worried, yes. They, they did think... say at one point that the different Legendary Lords would have slightly different quest chains. Their quest chains, yeah, those will be different for sure. But the different starting oh, yes. locations um, not being reflected, especially in the Empire, when you can't start off in different uh, sort of Elector Count regions is a huge kind of slap in the face to the lore, <laughs> the yeah, potential yeah. I mean, ahead. Yeah, if you're... if you're, I mean, Balthazar Gelt isn't an electric count, so it's different for him. But, like, definitely with the dwarves and with the greenskins, like, uh, Ungram starts in Slayer Keep. He's the king of uh, Karaz Kadrin, or Karak Kadrin. So he's always going to be starting there. That's literally his kingdom. And same with Karaz Karak. That's literally Thorgrim's kingdom. So they are different mounds. They are different locations on the Warhammer universe. And just the fact that you're starting in the exact same location when you're a different king and you would have your different your different region to start in, I, I just think it's a weird decision. And I really do think it hurts for playability. So again, I don't want this to drag on too long. And I don't want this to be like a bitch session. I think this is really important that we just say, hey, CA, I don't think this decision is a good one. If it's easy to fix... Please do change it. Please give each legendary lord their own starting location because it's good for the lore. It's good for replayability. It's going to make a dwarf campaign between the two or three or however many legendary lords get added eventually. It's going to make their campaigns feel different. And I think, I think that's really important. Right now, if I play a Thorgrim campaign, I don't see a reason really to jump over to an Ungrim campaign because I'm going to be starting in the exact same place and have the exact same threats at the start of the campaign. So if you guys can change that, Please do. Um, uh, there's some outcry. On the f outcry is a bit of a stretch, but there's some... Uh, gal I'm trying to galvanize action on the forums as well. A lot of people have posted saying they don't like this idea. Uh, if you guys in the comment section don't like this idea, please let your voice be heard. If you don't care, let us know as well. I mean, there are going to be plenty of you who probably don't play co-op or head-to-head -head campaigns and all, and that's fine. But this is something I personally really want to get changed because it'll help with the lore and it'll help with playing campaigns over and over again. So that's my thoughts on it. Sure. Yeah, I don't have anything more to add. I mean, just the the point you you brought up as well. Is let's keep it short and concise. And uh, my worry is as well with the DLC that they will inevitably bring for new lords. Like <laughs> that sucks. Like let's pretend Empire gets ten new legendary lords, but if they're all starting in the same position, like what what, what the hell? <laughs> that yeah. sucks so much. Um, yeah, like I don't want it to just be quest chains. I want it to be right. Yeah, everything. Five bucks for poor Boris Tordbringer, and then. Five starting bucks over. to play in Midnheim. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. So anyways, yeah, we'll wrap it up there. Thanks, guys, for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.